Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's solve this together. Now it is wrong to say minus root 3 multiplied by minus root 12 to be minus 3 multiplied by minus 12 and then it becomes plus 36 and the answer is 6. Alright, this is totally wrong. Alright, in this video I want to show us the proper way to simplify this radical expression. Now solution. We have square root of minus 3 multiplied by square root of minus 12 and then we can write this as minus 1 multiplied by 3 and also this as minus 1 multiplied by 12. Now we can give them separate square roots because the law says if we have root AB, it becomes root A multiplied by root B. That is what we are applying. So this is square root of minus 1 multiplied by square root of 3. And also this, we have square root of minus 1 multiplied by square root of 12. Alright, so now, what is square root of minus 1? Square root of minus 1 is equal to i. That is what we call imaginary units. Okay, so square root of minus 1 is i. So from here, we can write i here to replace square root of 1 multiplied by square root of 3. Also here, we write i and we have square root of 12. Now we can now multiply i with 3 and i with 12. i times i give us i square, then we have root 3 times root 12, that will be 3 times 12. So we have i square multiplied by 3 times 12 will give us 36. We can find square root of 36 to be 6, so we have i square multiplied by square root of 36 is 6, and we can write this as 6i square. Alright, so it means if you simplify square root of minus 3 multiplied by square root of 12, the answer will give us 6i square. This is the correct answer. Alright, so let me give us something similar to that. Now let's simplify this. Let's simplify square root of minus 8 multiply by square root of minus 2. Right, so let's simplify this and write our answer under the comment section. Thanks guys, don't forget to like, share this video, and if you have not subscribed to this channel, please and please do subscribe. See you next time.